there, welcome to Tech Center. This is Joshua and I'm going to introduce you to the Python programming shell. Before we jump into the video, please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive future videos from my channel. If you haven't already watched my previous video about installing and setting up Python in Windows operating system, I've put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. Now I am going to introduce you to the Python programming shell. The Python programming shell is a window where all the programs are executed. The Python programming shell is the first window that you see when you open Python. The Python programming shell can be used to write programs. This is called shell scripting. The Python programming shell executes commands one line at a time. This makes it ideal for beginners to test short pieces of code. Let's open Python from the Windows Programs list. Click Start. And then ideally Python. This is the shell. Let's maximise it. We can now start shell scripting. I'm going to start off with addition. I'm going to add 100 and 200. 100 plus 200. Let's press enter to get the answer. As you can see, the answer 300 has been displayed below. I'm also going to add the numbers 40 and 10. 40 plus 10. Let's press enter. As you can see, the answer 50 has been displayed below. Let's move on to subtraction. I'm going to subtract 5 from 10. 10 minus 5. Press enter. As you can see, the answer 5 has been displayed below. Let me show you another example. I'm going to subtract 15 from 20. 20 minus 15. Enter. You can see the answer 5 has been displayed below. Let's do some multiplication. I'm going to multiply 7 and 5. 7 times 5. Let's press enter. Let me show you another example. 25 times 4. Enter. The answer 100 has been displayed below. Let's finish off with some division. I'm going to divide 50 by 2. 50 divided by 2. Enter. As you can see, the answer 25 has been displayed below. Let me show you one more example. I'm going to divide 18 by 6. 18 divided by 6. Enter. The answer 3 has been displayed underneath the equation. Let's close the shell. In my future videos, I'll be posting Python programming tutorials and I'll be introducing you to PIP and its uses. I hope that this video is helpful for you. If you like this video, please smash that like button and share it to your friends and family. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click that red subscribe button below. If you have any questions or comments about this video, or if you'd like to get links to all of my previous videos, please contact me via email at fortechcenter at gmail.com. I've put a link in the description box below. See you in the next video!